What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today Apple returns on a Tuesday with the third beta of iOS 11.4. So this came out to developers today and should be out to public beta testers either later today or tomorrow. You can see here the size came in at a small 220.7 megabytes here on my iPhone 8 Plus. Of course that size will vary depending on your device and what firmware you're coming from. So let's go ahead and run through the build number then check out some of the changes here in beta 3 if we have any changes at all. So let's go ahead and take a look at the build number. You can see there it's 15F5061. E. Of course, a long build number as expected. We're expected to have at least one or two more betas of 11.4 before the final release. Now, as for the changes in beta 3, I haven't noticed anything new at all. However, I did notice that something I mentioned in the last video in beta 2, a bug has been patched. So that was the 3D touch lag after unlocking. This was actually introduced with iOS 11.3, but now if we go and unlock our device and then 3D touch, you can see it now works after unlocking. Before, there would be about a three second uh, delay and you wouldn't be able to 3D touch on an icon until at least three seconds after you unlock the device. But that has been patched here with the third beta of iOS 11.4, which is nice. But aside from that, you're not gonna really notice anything changed at all. I didn't really notice anything new as far as performance. It seemed about as fluid and smooth as beta two. I'm sure there's gonna be people out there that say it feels smoother and faster, but that's mostly usually just the placebo effect. I didn't really notice any change at all. Uh, however, battery life on beta two is actually better than it was on beta one. And beta three, of course, since I just installed it, so we'll have to see if it continues to be as good as it was in beta two. I will possibly make a follow-up video in the fourth beta and talk about that if anything did change with battery and performance in beta 3. Now fortunately we still do have messages in iCloud. If we go into our iCloud settings you can see that we still do have iMessage in iCloud. So hopefully this doesn't go away. Again we will probably have to wait until the final build of 11.4 to get released to see if this is still in there and if it's going to be an actual thing because we saw this in previous versions where it'd be in the beta but then it'd get removed in the final version of the firmware. So hopefully messages in iCloud is here to stay. It is still here in beta 3. So that's pretty much it with beta 3. The only thing I really noticed that's changed is the fix of the 3D touch lag after unlocking the device. Nothing else I've noticed has been changed or altered at all. I'm sure there are some behind the scenes bugs, of course, some security enhancements as well, but nothing that you're going to notice and nothing that has been noted yet. So pretty small update. I will report back to you if I find any more changes. Also, I will be giving you an update on the battery life and performance, most likely in the fourth beta video, but possibly before if it is a drastic change. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick little video. You guys know I like bringing you guys these videos no matter how how important or how big the update is just to keep you as informed as possible with what Apple is releasing as far as iOS firmwares. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.